good time. What's up, guys? Nick Noke here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, last year was crazy. Didn't really post much. Didn't ride much. Got hurt a few times. Uh, you guys will hear all about it in the next video. But uh, yeah, we are back. I got the new GoPro 11, and we are on our way currently to Utah to hang out with the Reed Boggs for a day and pick up a new Yeti. And uh, yeah, we are obviously driving right now. The drive to Utah is crazy. It's like nothing, 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 Vegas. And then, uh, yeah, you just keep going. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, we go and ride some fun stuff. I know we're expecting some weather, so crossing our fingers that we get some riding in on the new bike because um, in two weeks we are going to New Zealand. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. Let's get into it. No? No. Let's go hit Cog first thing in the morning. First time in the morning. I haven't rode a, a haven't rode a bike in like nine months. <laughs> Straight to Kong. Brand new bike. Sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds like the Nick Knock program if I've ever heard it before. I don't know if the Nick Knock program is a good program. I wouldn't recommend the Nick Knock program to anybody. It's a daily dose of beer. Don't work out and send shit that Reed talks you into. <laughs> Maybe hit the occasional tree. <laughs> That's the one thing good about the desert, man. Ain't like no damn trees to hit. <laughs> Just cliffs to fall off. Yeah. Get it. Nephi's live. All right, so we just started this trail and I'm already pretty winded from pedaling on the fire road. <laughs> you'll you'll eventually hear me breathing heavy. But um yeah, we're doing this as like a as a warm up just to, you know, make sure the bike is all feeling good. Uh we had to convert the bike to single speed. Well, it was already as single speed, but um had to get the reverse single speed derailleur. The reverse derailleur, it's got a weird design to it. It doesn't have a a locking mechanism to keep the derailleur in place on the derailleur hanger. You pretty much just tighten this bolt really tight. And so I was pretty convinced that with enough bumps and stuff that the derailleur was gonna move out of place. But you know, so far, so far so good. Could you hear me breathing? Yeah. I was getting that like feeling where it's cold in your chest because I haven't pedaled or, you know, been high altitude doing any activity in a while. I'm like, dang, I really am a dad now. Also, single speed on a enduro trail, uh, it's it's pretty brutal. Like you're you're pushing really hard to get through these flat sections and these uphills and obviously read Reed was fine because he's in shape and your boy is not but this is uh this is all shot like I said on the GoPro 11 and I actually shot this in the new like 5.6k 87 uh, so it's more like a square and then you just crop in and I'm really impressed with how it looks so far um, and also pay no attention to the fork I will get my RST suspension on there but uh, I do not have the fork yet for the bike, so this is just riding it stock how Reed handed it to that me. Cold water or cold air breathing, you know, in my chest. Yep, I know it. Do it. Don't go left pretty much what I'm thinking in my head the whole time like it's super easy riding like nothing about this trail is difficult whatsoever but there's 
it's almost the fact that it's not difficult that you just look to the left right there and you're like, oh, what happens if I just like turn? You know, those intrusive thoughts. Does anyone else ever get those intrusive thoughts? Because I definitely do. Step down or the steeps? I don't know. How's the wind? Yeah, let's go steep. So in Utah, obviously, when there's any bit of wind, you always want to opt for the, the lines that you stay on the ground. Because even if it's not windy, you know, right there, when you get 40 more seconds down, it might be. And uh, this section I've rode before, and uh, it's got a lot of loose dirt, and it's really skinny. And I definitely dabbed a foot right there and almost fell. It's a little bit, a little bit scary. First day back and, you know, like quite a few months off the bike, I was pretty proud of, of riding that right there. I dabbed the foot there. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, this is just a little, this is the step down that we didn't hit. We just climbed up and hit it. That was Reed. And then I'm dropping in right here. Crushed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now this is over at the 2015 site. Uh, this is a jump that we've hit a long time ago. It's part of the 2015 rampage. It used to be a wooden lip right here, but uh, felt good to, you know, get a jump done. Just felt really good to be on my bike speed in general. No. And so this is uh, speed checking for this this drop right here. Yeah, right there, you're going faster than him. I know, and that's the thing. I was barely. I braked into that too. There's another speed check, Jasper. Speed checking's crazy because you start getting on the brake so early, you kind of guessing the speed that you might have. And you know what better way to do it than in a train? Goggles on. Oh shit! How about that? Let's wait for this old gust to go. Always waiting for the wind. You don't want to ride in the wind. <laughs> there it is. Get it. Get it. flip from Mr. Reed Boggs. Uh, we just hit that big drop. 2015 zone is a whole 20 feet. And we're on the same bikes, you know. How's it feeling? Feels good. And it's also my first time in Utah as a dad. It's also my first YouTube video as a dad. We can tell. He's out of shape. I'm so out of shape. We did this one trail. I, th I thought I was like gonna die. And now we're gonna, I could not breathe. We're gonna tee up some flat spins. Or not. I wasn't lying. I'm not gonna do a flat spin, but uh, I do go for the old, the old under flip right here. Nice pedal. Make sure you got that speed. Yep. I love that trick. It feels so good because you can see the landing like the whole time. Oh shit! And then Jasper moved angles to film. I come in. I pedal, and right here I go, oh no. <laughs> Front and back wheel case. I thought I was done for. You almost had your first crash in the <laughs> Dude, I felt it like I was going smooth just like before, and then going right up the lip. Slow. It felt like I was going so slow, like the wind came down, and I was like, I don't want to hike up again for the same clip. So I fucking went for it anyways. I tried to give like a, and dude, front wheel case oh, and fucking rode it out. Love it. Love it. Yep. 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 Oh, just a good old train. Nick Knock, Dad Life, the official vlogs. Let's fucking go. It's so funny. I had to ask for turn that off and I just looked for the end of the camera, for the end of the film and I was like, he's, probably gonna say something and then this is uh it's way too windy at this point to ride anything else so all right i'm ready we just rode this little this little shoot for the celsius video instagram video <laughs> easy 
So this is a pit bike track near Reed's house in somebody's backyard, and him and Hoff rode it. Front or back? But I did not. Damn. His suspension is blown. That suspension didn't sound good. Uh, oh, fuck, I'll hit it again. Screw it. <laughs> Twenty fifteen site was built. Crap. Oh my sketchy. <laughs> Almost hit Reed. <laughs> That's only half a lap, dude. Oh. I told him to give me a hot lap and he stopped after one section. Listen to that. Oh! <laughs> I got sketchy there. Hey, it's only three quarters of a lap, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> That guy said, you almost made me drop my cheeseburger. I didn't catch that before. That's hilarious. Drop. I really thought Hoff was going to hit this tree with his head. Oh, my. I think this is Reed on the Suron now. Yep. Look how smooth he lands. Look how much better it sounds than Hoff's Suron. Hoff is like, ka-thunk, ka-thunk, ka-thunk. If your suspension is making a th-thunk noise, is blown. That means it's like bottoming out and then springing back. Okay. This is what we woke up to the next day. Are you serious? Why? Exactly, Mr. Nick No K. Why? I guess I go home now. But I take it. Do we think Reed will notice that this bike is no longer in his garage? Just kidding. I'm taking it. Yeah, don't think uh don't think I stole that bike. It was I worked for it. We made a deal. I didn't just steal it. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. I've never really done a voiceover, um, but I I tried today. Just really experimenting with the content. So, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video. That was a weird fucking noise. <laughs>